huh? Guys, if you want to see her video, it's in the description. That's my baby girl. She's back on YouTube. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool phase banks typing effect slash TWAP typing effect. And I just thought this was a really cool effect that you guys can do on your vlogs or videos or YouTube videos, whatever it is. And it's actually really, really easy to do. Um, you will need uh, one uh, plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. It is for free. So I will leave that in the description. And I'll show you guys where to get it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and push play so you guys can go ahead and see the effect. Huh? Guys, if you want to see her video, it's in the description. That's my baby girl. She's back on YouTube. So that is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Now, so the plugin that I got is an adjustment layer from Ryan Nangle. I will leave his link down in the description. Be sure to subscribe to him. He's a really cool guy. He's the go-to for plugins and really cool effects for Final Cut Pro 10. So uh, just check him out. Link is in the description. And uh, just install the plugin into Final Cut Pro 10. It's pretty straightforward. I already made lots of tutorials and so did Ryan. So um, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that in this tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys how to do the typing effect. And it's actually really easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, uh, once you have the plugin installed, then you're pretty much good to go. And the reason we have to use a separate plugin, an adjustment layer, is because we can't add a handheld effect to the actual video because it will crop it and there's no other way to get around that. Unless you guys know a way to get around that without a plugin, please let me know. But I just, of course, want to go ahead and support other creators as well. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is once you have your plugin installed and you're ready to go, um, I already have the video here. It is by Phase Banks, of course. If you want to see the full vlog, the link is in the description. So be sure to check him out as well. And I just use this video because, I mean, I just see this a lot in his videos and a lot of other YouTubers. But go ahead and just um, find a video that you want. I'm assuming it's going to be yours. And I'm going to go into Google Chrome, and this is where I first found the effect from. It was from one of FaZe Banks' video about, I would say, two months ago or three months ago. And, you know, TWAP is, of course, kind of narrating in, in, in this little bit here. But uh, he just does this really cool, um, I would say, um, kind of like sliding um, typing effect on YouTube. And to do that's actually really cool. He did actually type this. So the first thing you want to do is go on to your finder or just press command space and type in QuickTime and you should bring up the QuickTime player. Then go to file and go to new screen recording. So you will have to record your screen and I'm going to go into the comment section and over here on this down arrow, go ahead and click on that and you want to go ahead and choose no microphone and click on record. Now it says to click to record the full screen or drag to record a part of the screen. So I'm going to drag just this bit here. Now you can select a little bit, but if you're going to be typing a long comment, just select the whole thing and click start recording. Okay. Then go ahead and click on it and then start typing. So I'm going to do, yo, this is really cool. Loves the video. All right, and then you want to go ahead and just pretend you're going to click on it. And then once you're ready to finish, all you got to do is go to the top here and click on the stop button. And then your video here is going to go ahead and play. And you're going to see how that looks like. Now, go ahead and go to the top, go to file and go to export as and do 1080p or, or, or 4K if you want. But I'm just doing 1080p and I'm going to do typing uh, video and choose a place to save it to. Click save and then go ahead and quit out of uh, QuickTime Player. Now, jump right into Final Cut. And go ahead and import your typing clip here. So I'm going to go into import media and I'm going to go into the desktop and in the desktop, select your video and click import selected. And I have the video here. It's called typing video. This is the newest one. I'm going to drag that right on top of the clip here and then I'm going to hide all of this so you guys don't get confused. So now we have the video here imported into Final Cut Pro 10. Now the comment is really long or the video itself is long. So we're going to go ahead and speed this up a lot. So we're going to go to this timer button and go to custom and then simply drag this all the way over here. You can make it so it fits the whole video, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do about half. And then now if I go ahead and push play and I disable the audio for now, or I'm going to go ahead and detach this audio for now. So I'm going to detach the audio by right clicking on the video and then disabling that. So now if I push play, you can see how that looks like. looks pretty good and you can always cut it here if you don't like it. So here you can adjust the speed up here and right now we have it at fast and you could always change the uh, speed there but I like it like this the next thing we need to do is make this smaller because we don't want to 
obviously make this too big. So we're going to kind of move it like that and then maybe at an angle, something like that and click done. Now we want to make it look a little bit more interesting. So right now there is no audio. So we want to import some audio. So I went ahead and imported a typing sound effect or keyboard sound effect. So uh, wherever you guys want to do, you can record your keyboard and do it that way. Or you can go online and look some up. Uh, I went online and I just went on to soundsnap.com. This video isn't sponsored, but you can go ahead and type in like uh, typing keyboard or something like that. And they have a whole bunch of high quality sound effects. Um, but you will have to pay in order to get these or you can legit just record your keyboard typing it that way. Um, so go ahead and import that into Final Cut and I'm going to drag this audio right beneath everything else. Now I want this to obviously fit the sound. So I'm going to drag this again. So somewhere around here, something like that. So now if I go back and I push play. So I don't start typing until around here. There we go. And then I think I stopped typing around here. So what I could do is I could easily just cut it. So I could go around here and I can fade this off. And then I could, of course, cut it there. Now, once we have those uh, added into the timeline, we're going to go ahead and make that uh, handheld uh, effect. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the titles and generators once you have installed the plugin go into the titles and go into custom. It should be named custom or something else. And you're gonna have long, medium, and short. I'm gonna do the short one. And I'm gonna increase this to the to fit the whole video there. Just select both of these clips, right click and go onto new compound clip to group the videos together. That way it only applies the effect to that one clip here. So we're gonna drag this back on here. So now if we go back, you can see that it's moving. So we can adjust this here in the values in the effects and we can increase the shakiness, something like that. And you can change the distance, something like that. Okay. And then the last thing we need to do is add a drop shadow because that just makes it kind of, it kind of completes the look. So we're going to go to drop shadow and drag that on top of the clip, but not the adjustment layer. And we can increase the uh, drop shadow by clicking on it and adjusting everything in here. But I think the, the standard one looks just fine. So now if we enable the audio and everything else, it should look really cool. And you could always add a uh, kind of a fade out effect if you want, but I'm not going to. Huh? Guys, if you want to see her video, it's in the description. That's my baby girl. And you can do something like that. And of course, I want a little bit of this bit here. She's back, girl. Right there. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of do something like this. And let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's in the description. That's my baby girl. Sweet. That looks really good. So now all you got to do is just export the video. And now you have a typing um, comment in your vlog or video. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful, be sure to leave a like, guys. That would be awesome. Your support has been really cool and really awesome. So comment down what you guys want to see next. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.